welcome to my channel so i don't necessarily have a makeup tutorial video today but today we talking about bronzers bronzers for the girls <laughs> brown skin girls deep dark dark deep all of that so i'm going to basically list some of my favorite bronzers and bronzers that i normally recommend to everybody um from due to their color ranges prices and all that so yeah let's go ahead and get started first and foremost thank y'all for watching thank you for coming to see what i got to talk about and leave your favorite bronzers below because i realize i have a problem bronzers is low-key becoming my favorite thing Bron br bronzers bronzers and blushes um i don't know where this came from but it's my favorite but anyway so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into these bronzers for the girls <laughs> all day every day my favorite favorite favorites are the fenty um bronzers they are 30 dollars. you can get them from fenty.com as well as sephora and sephora.com and sephora jcp they are 30 dollars. this is probably the most expensive bronzer that i own matter of fact it is the most expensive bronzer that i own um she comes in nine shades i have don't judge me judge your mama but i have three and i'll tell you why i have three okay so like the first one that i bought was coco naughty um because in the original batch that came out it was coco naughty and mocha mommy so when we went in the store whatever whatever mocha mommy was like intimidating oh she red red and then because i really didn't know how to bronze or what to do and the girl showed me coco naughty yes i've hit pan but um yeah so she showed me coco naughty so i initially got coco naughty first but then i went and got mocha mommy because i can't remember who but somebody mixed the two together and i just loved the way it went so i got both of these and i used them together um i know that's 60 dollars, but yeah i need it so this one gives you a nice soft bronze this gives you the warm form that you need but if you mix them together it was like the perfect balance if that makes sense but yeah anyways they're 30 dollars. but she just came out with thick mint at the end of 2020 december if i'm not mistaken and it's supposed to be for the girls that's in 400 in Fenty's foundation, I wear a 430. I have it listed below all my foundation numbers because in the powder foundation, I wear 445. It, it works for me, okay? But this is thick me. Baby, when I tell you, she comes through for the girls. She comes through for the girls. I think that it's so pretty. Um, some people are like, girl, that's too dark for you, but I promise you, putting it on, blending it out, it's amazing. It gives me the contour bronze look that I want without having to have too many products. This right here, I think a bronze girl, the bronze skin girls, we, we need this in our life. Look, look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And so I, my uh, second favorite that I've been gravitating to more if I don't want to do Fenty again, you know, try to get a little variation because, you know, Fenty not all that I own, but if it's good, it's good, right? But anyways, so the next ones are... <laughs> from color grain um black owned business independent i think she's some some of her stuff is in target but i probably shop more online for her um but her pressed bronzers baby sweetie when i tell you when i tell you she came through for the girls she came through for the girls and i blame drea for these miss binti vega if you follow her on instagram she, she's an influencer for real because she influenced the purchase no. so for color rain's bronzers they are 16 dollars a piece um so one is 16 yes i have two i'll get into that a little bit more um hat comes in six shades um i have naughty spice and mocha queen so there's a shade after mocha queen and three shades before naughty spice yeah naughty spice um she does have bundles or you can get a bronzer and her brush yep i lie got it so she also sells it in a bundle if you want the um bronzer and a brush to apply because she just came out with her signature brushes bomb by the way um those are 21 dollars so the bronzer and the together 21 dollars 
And I think she just introduced a new kit to where you get two, two bronzers and a brush, same brush, and it's $38. Now, Nisa ain't have this when I bought this, but neither here nor there. So, if you're like me, I usually get two, one for warmer, one for the winter months, and also sometimes just to mix it to give me that in between when I don't want to be like warm bronze to the gods and just a little subtle, subtle, but I want it somewhere in the middle. You can get two for this, $38 bomb deal this may be the cheapest bronzer that i have i'm not 100 percent sure we'll get to that in a minute but I, I, by themselves it's 16 dollars um this is i'll show you mocha queen first because she's on top so yes this is mocha queen look how deep that is she's beautiful mocha queen mm -hmm. then this is thick mint so these will kind of be like the sisters of the two even though this one is a little deeper on camera but yeah and i actually think um the deepest one which is coco goddess may do this one but i knew that was going to be too deep so yeah so this is um mocha queen and it comes with a cute little mirror but this is mocha queen and then naughty spice and this is naughty spice so again, Naughty Spice compared to Thick Mint. Of course, Thick Mint is going to be deeper. And then comparing that to Mocha Mommy. This one's a little, this one, excuse me, is a little redder. And then I think she's more on the verge with Coco Naughty. So yeah, so I have those two. Again, $16. Love, love, love these. Um, they blend out so beautiful. I also have a dedicated video that I'll share above if you really want more in detail to see the pigments. The pigmentation and i'm going to include swatches somewhere in here um ones that actually took me for surprise are the splendor ultra matte bronzers from makeup revolution so i stand corrected these are cheaper than colored rain um they are 12 dollars and you can get them at ulta if they're still in stock and also the website makeup revolution they have one two three four six shades six so I have three funny story is I had to order these online because again I couldn't see them in the store this is like yeah they were sold out because they were so cheap um good price sorry they were affordable I'm not gonna say cheap they're affordable because cheap has such a negative connotation so um and like the pictures didn't really do a girl justice to compare and like because nobody really could get their hands on them that I usually watch immediately i was just like huh, i need to find them um but once they came in i just needed them so i have three yes i know i have three so the three that i actually have are dark medium and medium dark so here's the thing these are probably the biggest ones that i think i have um and they may also be the cheapest of most affordable i can't say cheapest that's so negative oh but anyway so these are probably the most affordable ones that i have as far as price wise and yeah so i have three um funny thing is i couldn't find them um in the ulta store and i tried and i tried and i waited and finally they came in so i just ordered them online i'm diamond so i get free shipping on just about any and everything so i think the first one that i actually bought was medium only because everybody was saying they're darker than what the picture shows like when you swatch it it's darker so this is the first one i got and as you can see she's probably the lightest one that i own um with coco Naughty, like as you can see she's not as she's not gonna pull as warm on me but she may do what she need to do um, but I haven't even used it because it was so light. Um, I have a swatch of it, but I was like, oh, this isn't going to work. And in my mind, at the time, I was like, oh, I'm going to do other people's makeup. I can use it for somebody like my cousin. I haven't done anybody's makeup. So that's that one. And then the next one that I bought was medium dark. Um, and she, she, pulled, she pulled a little gray on screen. But I promise you, she's deeper than she actually looks. Um, so that's that one and then the next one that I bought which is the one I actually have been using the most as you can see is dark so dark is lit okay 
she probably plays more into this i know that this one pulls way more red on camera but i promise you she comes through in the for the girl she comes through so if i had to go in order like i said fenty's my favorite and yeah she's the most expensive fenty's being my favorite and then coloring and then makeup revolution um and the last one that i have are the glamour glam glamour bronze glamour bronze because i just call them bronzes from morphe yeah, like i don't automatically pull for these i bought these during the sale during the panini um and i probably use them twice um that's probably why they're at the bottom as far as like my favorites i don't remember that i have these and it's not necessarily performance it's just fenty and colored rain kind of do what they need to do so these are 19 dollars um so again these are probably these are more expensive than color rain but not as expensive as fenty so they're in the between range and they come in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten they have ten shades i have leader um i have leader here as you can see kind of reminds me of coco naughty just a little bit and then i have supreme now supreme definitely reminds me of mocha mommy like the way they pull so red so yeah so i have these um i've used supreme clearly more um and like i said a lot of times i like to mix bronzers i know some people are like well what's the point but it just depends on the vibe like if you want to look real red and sun kissed with warmth if you want to be full of warmth then do this alone um if you kind of going oh it's an easy day not too much not too little then you go for something like this put them together though chef's kiss amazing so these are the two that i have they come with mirrors pretty and they're huge by the way can we just go off huge so i probably never run out of these i've had coconut since it literally came out and i hit pans so you're gonna if you're gonna you're gonna get your money's worth regardless so yeah so these are that and then i have an honorable mention because i just bought it um literally yesterday the juvia's bronzer i have it in dark and it's 18 dollars, and it comes with two so technically this would be the most affordable one that i have because i've only spent nine dollars per per color if that makes sense so this is the one i have which reminds me again of coco naughty and mocha mommy so yeah um you can use a coupon with these i actually have that on today um so yeah, if this is something that you're looking into, Ulta just got it on Sunday. By the time this comes up, it'll probably be about a week. So the Sunday before Memorial Day. Um, they're in Ulta. Not something you're gonna have to go in the store because you can't do order for pickup or you can just order online. You can use the $3.50 coupon that they let you use because it's $18. So you're really only gonna spend $15. Is my math right? $14.50. So plus tax, depending on your state. But yeah, so I think those are cute. Like I said, I have that on today. And yes, I mix them. I mix bronzers. I don't really know why. It just works for me. Depends on the vibe. Sometimes I use it by itself. Sometimes I put it together. But yeah, so those are all my bronzers. Those are the ones I would definitely recommend. For me, if you ever ask me about a bronzer, I'm probably going to mention in order. Fenty, Colored Rain makeup revolution morphe um oh and the honorable mention is the anastasia but at this point they haven't extended the line the range um and low-key that one i had to work and i can't remember the color i'll probably put it somewhere up here so yeah so those are my favorite bronzers um top four because i don't even have five um yes i know and it and it, i give you a range like from quote-unquote high-end to affordable you can't beat that so those are my favorite bronzers please 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 if you have any bronzer suggestions list them below that low-key has become my new obsession my new favorite thing to collect is bronzers for brown girls um like i said you should see swatches of all of them now on my arm don't judge my swatches because you know i'm it's, it's not 
not easy doing them like i don't i feel like they don't really show you but i want so you can see the color it'll probably be in the order that i listed them um just so that way you guys can follow in the video um but yeah that concludes this video thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and again let me know your favorite bronzers down below and see y'all next time thank y'all for watching bye sugars